Hayao Miyazaki is a Japanese animated film director who has mostly made films for the well-renowned Studio Ghibli. Miyazaki's many animated films all share similar themes. However, one of the most prevalent themes being the importance of environmentalism, which is the protection and preservation of the environment. This theme of environmentalism is best shown in his two films, Princess Mononoke and My Neighbor Totoro. Princess Mononoke follows a young man named Ashitaka and his journey to rid himself of a nasty curse. And within his travels, he discovers a war between man and nature. This film discusses the potential damage that humans and nature can have on one another, and also a potential solution to this very issue. My Neighbor Totoro follows a father and his two daughters, Mei and Satsuki, moving to the countryside to be closer to their hospitalized mother, and the two girls discover the joyous forest spirits that dwell near their home. My Neighbor Totoro talks about how nature can be an excellent teacher, and also the importance of teaching younger generations about the importance of the environment. Miyazaki discusses the theme of environmentalism in the film Princess Mononoke by showcasing the potential damage that climate change can have on the environment and thus on us as humans. Han expresses, Nature can bring life, but it can also bring death. Nature provides humans with benefits, i.e. ecosystem services, but nature does not deliberately provide those benefits for humans. If humans degrade nature, nature can also bring destruction, such as extreme weather events. Just like the forest spirit, nature can both benefit and harm humans. While profitability of the forest's destruction within Princess Mononoke allows the people of the ironworks to not just survive, but thrive off their environment. However, the destruction of the environment comes at the cost of its plants, animals, and gods that live within the forest, and thus its inhabitants fight back against the humans. This conflict results in countless human death, some of which are shown when the wolf god pushes several men off a high mountain, which result in death and injury for them. The ambition of the humans and their hunger for wealth will not stop even after the entire forest forest is destroyed. This very sentiment of destroying the nature that surrounds them for material gain is best exemplified in the climax of the film, where Lady Eboshi kills the deer god, who is the literal embodiment of nature and the forest itself. The remnants of the deer god fought back and indiscriminately destroys everything, including the ironworks and even the forest. This narrative is telling of what Miyazaki believes is in store for humanity if we continue to pervade the planet and take it for granted. Much like how the townsfolk lose their homes and material possessions, we too may face the same fate if the greed of humanity continues to blind them from the truth. This idea that nature will one day begin to fight back against humanity is one of the many ways in which Miyazaki explores the theme of environmentalism in his films. Another way in which Miyazaki explores environmentalism is by demonstrating a solution to undoing the damage that humanity has caused on our environment and the correct way to approach this task. Morgan says, Just as Ashitaka was cursed by the boar god, known as Hitarigami, we are cursed with inheriting environmental problems. The main character of the film, Ashitaka, seeks to rid himself of his own curse, much like humanity should seek to rid itself of its own curse. Environmental issues. The solution that he discovers is reconciliation between human and nature alike. This is best exemplified in the climax of the film where Ashitaka and San retrieve the deer god's head from the humans who wish to use it to receive material gain, and they humbly offer it back to the now enraged deer god. Much like Ashitaka, we must also seek reconciliation with nature by discontinuing the act of profiting of its resources. One of Ashitaka's greatest qualities on his path to being healed is his unwavering optimism, even in the face of defeat. In the midst of the forest god's rage, San says, everything is finished, the forest is dead, and he replies, no it's not. We're still alive, help me. At every turn, he actively seeks to reconcile with nature, no matter the cost, and wholeheartedly believes that he can make change. Miyazaki explores the idea that humans have the power to heal nature through reconciliation and optimism, much like Ashitaka does in this film. Miyazaki stresses the importance of nature in one's life in his film My Neighbor Totoro through its ability to give hope when everything all but seems lost and can also teach invaluable lessons. Fujuki says about the film, As the film progresses, nature is recognized as offering not only physical healing but also the healing of psychological alignment. One of the most important and effective ways in which the forest spirits offer a psychological healing is their ability to allow the two girls to have fun and laugh, even in the face of danger. This is best shown when Mai and Satsuki are desperately awaiting the return of their father at the bus stop, where it's pouring rain and hope that their father will return is dwindling and so are their spirits. Totoro enters the frame and stands next to Satsuki and is fascinated with the rain and the umbrella that Satsuki lent him. He is so fascinated to the point that he starts essentially playing in the rain 
rain, the rain which had made standing at the bus stop even more difficult for the girls. Totoro was basically laughing at. Totoro gave the two girls a reason to laugh and smile, while their hope that their father will return is at an all-time low. However, more importantly, Totoro teaches Mai and Satsuki an invaluable lesson that even in the darkest times you can still find ways to have fun, to have hope that things will get better. Miyazaki stresses the importance of the environment in one's life by demonstrating the lessons that we can all learn from it. Miyazaki's common theme of environmentalism generally speaks mostly to children and thus an attempt to teach younger generations about the importance of nature. However, he also shows the importance of the older generations doing the same. Pan writes, Their father's action helps the sisters develop a respect towards nature. Children are not born with an innate connection to nature. It is formed through their childhood experiences. This is best shown in a scene where the two girls and their father visit a large tree where Mai had found the forest spirits and the father openly shows his appreciation to the forest and encourages his daughters to do the same. This encourages the girls to appreciate nature and give it the respect that it deserves. Much like how Miyazaki uses the medium of film, older generations should teach children to respect their environment and foster a healthy human and nature relationship. Much like how Mei and Satsuki form their gratitude for nature from their father, adults should be doing the same in their own unique way. My Neighbor Totoro teaches the importance of setting a good example of showing the younger generation to respect nature and integrate nature within their lives. In conclusion, Miyazaki heavily stresses the importance of preservation of the environment, and he discusses this in a multitude of different ways. The two films, Princess Mononoke and My Neighbor Totoro, discuss this theme from different perspectives, but both focus heavily on this theme and discuss the topic with the weight that it deserves. 